13 strange signs your kidneys are crying for help. 1. Metallic taste in mouth. A metallic taste in the mouth is often associated with uremia, a condition in which waste products accumulate in the bloodstream due to reduced kidney function. This buildup of toxins such as urea can lead to altered taste sensations. Studies indicate that nearly 30 to 40 percent of patients with chronic kidney disease, CKD, report taste disturbances, including a metallic taste. When kidneys are compromised, they fail to filter out urea effectively. Urea can break down into ammonia, which can affect the taste buds, leaving a bitter or metallic taste. This taste alteration can lead to reduced appetite, further complicating nutritional intake for those with kidney issues. 2. Ammonia breath. Similar to a metallic taste, ammonia breath, also known as uremic fetter, is another indication of waste buildup. This can often resemble the smell of urine or ammonia, an indicator that the kidneys aren't properly filtering toxins from the bloodstream. Approximately 10 to 20% of CKD patients experience uremic fetter, with the severity increasing as kidney function declines. With reduced kidney function, urea levels in the bloodstream rise. When urea is converted to ammonia in the saliva, it creates a noticeable odor on the breath. Ammonia breath can be distressing and may lead to social discomfort, but more importantly, it indicates high levels of toxins in the body. If left unaddressed, these toxins can lead to more severe symptoms, including neurological impairment. 3. Foamy or bubbly urine. Noticing foam or bubbles in your urine may be an early sign of proteinuria, which occurs when proteins that should remain in the bloodstream leak into the urine. Healthy kidneys typically filter out waste while keeping protein, which is essential for muscle and tissue health, in the bloodstream. Proteinuria affects about 15 to 20 percent of people with CKD, with prevalence increasing as kidney function worsens. Fominess in the urine is due to excess protein, primarily albumin, escaping from the kidneys into the urine. The presence of these proteins causes bubbles to form when the urine hits the water in the toilet. This sign is significant because proteinuria is often an early marker of kidney damage. Persistent protein in the urine can indicate a compromised filtration system and is linked to a higher risk of kidney disease progression. 4. Unexplained itching. Persistent itching, particularly without an apparent cause, can be a sign of uremic pruritus which is common in patients with chronic kidney disease. This itching often affects the back, arms, and abdomen. Studies show that around 40 to 50% of people with advanced kidney disease experience uremic pruritus, and it can affect quality of life significantly. Kidneys that aren't functioning properly can't filter out toxins and wastes, allowing high levels of substances like urea and phosphates to build up in the blood. This buildup can irritate the skin's nerve endings, causing itching. Itching can lead to disrupted sleep, skin infections from scratching, and overall reduced quality of life. Chronic itching has also been linked to increased mental distress in kidney patients. 5. Puffy Eyes Kidneys play a major role in regulating body fluids and balancing electrolyte levels, so when they're not functioning well, fluid can accumulate in certain areas, causing puffiness, especially around the eyes. Edema, or swelling, affects about 20 to 25 percent of those with kidney disease, particularly around the eyes and ankles. When the kidneys fail to filter blood properly, proteins like albumin can be lost in the urine. A decrease in albumin levels in the blood leads to fluid leaking from blood vessels and accumulating in tissues, causing swelling. If puffy eyes persist, especially in combination with other symptoms, it can signal kidney damage. Edema can progress, leading to swelling in other areas like the ankles, feet, and even the abdomen. 6. Frequent muscle cramps. Muscle cramps, particularly in the legs, may be related to kidney dysfunction and are often overlooked as a symptom. Cramps can be an early indicator that the kidneys aren't balancing electrolytes effectively, leading to an imbalance that affects muscle contraction. 
Research shows that 30 to 50% of people with CKD report muscle cramps, especially as kidney function declines. Healthy kidneys balance electrolytes like potassium, calcium, and phosphorus, which are essential for muscle function. When kidneys are impaired, these electrolytes may fluctuate, causing muscles to contract irregularly and leading to cramps. Persistent cramps may point to electrolyte imbalances or mineral deficiencies, which can worsen without intervention. In severe cases, these imbalances can lead to complications affecting the heart and nervous system. 7. Constant fatigue. Fatigue can be a general symptom, but when it becomes chronic, it may indicate kidney problems. The kidneys filter out toxins and excess fluids, and they also produce a hormone called erythropoietin, which stimulates red blood cell production. When kidneys are impaired, they produce less erythropoietin, leading to anemia, which causes a lack of oxygen in the body, resulting in fatigue. Studies show that nearly 70% of people with chronic kidney disease, CKD, suffer from fatigue, often due to anemia and a lack of energy. National Kidney Foundation notes that anemia in CKD patients is often underdiagnosed and undertreated, particularly in earlier stages of kidney disease. 8. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath can occur due to fluid buildup in the lungs or anemia, both of which are linked to kidney issues. When kidneys don't function properly, they fail to regulate fluid balance, causing fluid to accumulate in the lungs, leading to difficulty in breathing. About 30 to 40 percent of CKD patients experience shortness of breath, particularly in the later stages of the disease, according T published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. Shortness of breath is a common symptom of fluid overload in people with CKD. 9. Swollen feet and ankles. Swelling in the feet and ankles is a clear sign that your kidneys may be having trouble removing extra fluid from your body. When the kidneys fail to filter waste effectively, it leads to sodium retention, which in turn causes swelling in the extremities. Nearly 60% of people with CKD report edema, swelling, in their feet, ankles, and legs as one of the first symptoms they notice swelling due to fluid retentin more prevalent in stages 4 and 5 of CKD. 10. Back pain. Back pain, partic lower back or on the side where the kidneys are located, can be a symptom of kidney problems. Kidney stones, infections, or inflammation of the kidneys can all cause severe discomfort in this area. Studies indicate that up to 15% of kidney disease patients report lower back pain as a primary symptom, according to the National Institute of Diabetestive and Kidney Diseases, NIDDK. Kidney stones affect about 1 in 10 people at some point in their lives, often causing intense back pain when passing through the urinary tract. 11. Difficulty sleeping or sleep apnea. Kidney disontribute to sleep disturbances, including sleep apnea. Toxins that remain in the blood due to poor kidney function can disrupt sleep, causing insomnia or difficulty staying asleep. The American Journal of Kidney Diseases found that up to 50% of people with CKD suffer from sleep disorders. A study by the National Institutes of Health, NIH, found that CKD have a high prevalence of obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, which can also worsen CKD progression. 12. High blood pressure. High blood pressure is both a cause and a Sydney disease. Damaged kidneys struggle to regulate blood pressure, which leads to increased blood pressure levels and accelerates kidney damage in a vicious cycle. According to the CDC, about one in five people with high blood pressure may also have CKD chronic kidney disease is the most common cause of secondary hypertension, responsive in 15% of high blood pressure cases. 13. Changes in urine color. The color, consistency, and frequency of urine can be indicating health. Dark-colored urine, blood in urine, foamy urine, or increased-slash-decreased frequency of urination can be signs of an underlying kidney issue. Research shows that 40% of CKD patients report changes in urine, 
such as color and consistency. As one of their early symptoms, a National Kidney Foundation survey highlights that discolored urine, including dark yellow or brown, e. a filtration problem in the kidneys,